One of the coolest features that Tesla had now for years is the self-parking feature where you can uh, park the car or unpark the car uh, without even being in there. Obviously, it involved in something even more amazing, which is a smart summon and a parking lock summon. Uh, and we'll talk about it in a second. But I was watching TV yesterday, last night. For some reason, I actually had a little bit of time to do that. And I saw this commercial by Hyundai but it was kind of doing the same thing. It was actually a uh, celebrity filled cast. And I was like, wait, wait a second. That's awesome on one hand, but how did I not know about it? Um, so apparently it's now in there, one of their 2020 uh, models. And uh, just in case, if you guys did this, if you're like me and you didn't know that it was happening, this should be <laughs> news to you. And so let's talk about it. I'll show you a little bit of a commercial. Um, I, I, I will talk about it. We'll talk about um, why Hyundai is not making a bigger deal out of it. Because, you know, look how many videos Tesla was able to get out of it. And, you know, the free marketing, of course. And... Um, and let's talk about the other electric cars that uh, Hyundai has that they don't seem to advertise. Unfortunately, it always comes back to that. So we're going to talk about that as well. And by the way, if you're interested in uh, staying up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars and you came to the right place, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And if you already have then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right. So um, as just like I said, as you know, this is the instructional video that Tesla has for their auto park and of course it can actually park parallel or kind of back into the spot where the car doesn't really have to li line up perfectly as you can see it can do it under the angle um, this this uh, feature was in this car from almost very beginning if you had the autopilot one feature was i had and i gotta tell you when i had my tesla i use this feature all the time most of the time when i you know park the car and come back and someone parked way too close and i was like crap and I would get it out, it'd get a lot of attention, and it was a big deal, and so I really loved it. Especially after moving here to Sacramento, where people just do not park, like, like I feel this, this picture was taken in Sacramento. This is how everybody parks here. I'm not kidding you guys. By the way, let me know come in the comment section if you think that your city that you live in can give Sacramento a run for its money. And uh, as far as people not giving any crap at all on how they park. Uh, okay, I will work the rest of my anger on this in, in therapy. But um, let's, uh, you know, so, so Hyundai actually apparently uh, put that feature created that feature it's only it's only like this it's not gonna turn or whatever which is i think kind of the main thing anyway is is where you kind of back it they put it in a 2020 sonata it is not an electric car but it is a, one of the uh, uh best-selling cars that they have and um you know you can actually buy that feature now with their sonata um now again i wish they would put it in a kia nero ev or a kia uh, why did i say kia nero ev i mean hyundai con ev they are kind of sister cars and uh, uh hyundai ionic again we'll talk about that in a second uh but let's look at this awesome commercial that they have and so it's uh, it's called smart park smart park i don't know is my boston accent really good you'll hear a lot of it but it's featuring check this out i'm looking at the at my notes chris evans uh, John Krasinski, Rachel Dretch, and David uh, Big Puppy or Cat. So, like, you know, star studded commercial. Um, so, let's uh, check it out uh, just at least a little bit. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? He's not getting that car in there. No, sir. Look at these two troublemakers. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Wicked car. Is that new? Yeah, it's a Sonata. Let me pack it. Oh, you're not fitting your car in there. Chris. Stop being a smarty pants, all right? Look who's got smart pack. Smart? All right, anyway, I'm, I'm just going to kill the sound because I can't just play the whole uh, commercial really here. But, you know, essentially he showcases the car going back and forth and so forth. And they go and rah, 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 whatever. I mean, that's at least how the Boston uh, 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 accent sounds to me. Um, I know I'm not the one making fun of accents, but it, it, it is funny to me. But, you know, it, it does look like the car is steering back and forth in, uh, in, in this uh, commercial. So, again, I don't think you can do it under the angle, but you can definitely do it when it's almost in the spot. So that's pretty cool now they also actually have kind of an instructional video that they have on their press site um and you can do it with a with a remote uh so um i i they did do a demonstration of this um later in this video uh, with uh, what the features that their app has and i did not see this feature in their app unfortunately maybe it's something that they uh they're gonna you know build you know later in but as you can see boom the car parks itself and then you can uh, obviously uh 
uh, uh, move it out of the spot, which I think is actually. By the way, if you're going to make a, a press video, why don't you have the park, uh, the car parked perfectly? <laughs> this car kind of uh, still parked the Sacramento style, a little too close to the to the line there. But um, uh, so, and then there, see, as you can see, they're just demonstrating this app. Um, all right. So let's talk about uh, why Hyundai is not making a big deal out of this feature. And I know they spend a lot of money, but I watch TV all the time. I kind of feel like I, I, I look at the car and electric car publications and YouTube channels and everything. And then this is the first time I saw it, even though this came out like at the end of last year. So, uh, and, and of course, why isn't this feature in an electric car? All right, before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric SUV called Ambyte and look how fast and easy it is to reserve one. It takes about 30 seconds of your time literally boom in real life and, and 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 mainly because you don't have to make any payment yet so make sure that you get your reservation now uh and take some minute of your time no money so go to the description of this video to reserve your biden today i cannot wait for mine absolutely love this car just drove uh one of the cars that came out of the um uh, uh nanjing factory there and it was absolute pleasure to drive that that video is on my channel okay now, so let's talk about why isn't Hyundai making a big deal out of it and involving, you know, social media influencers like myself, you know, like I, I like tech and I know this is a KS car, but I would make a video out of it. You know, Hyundai could have reached out to me and many, many other influencers and, and just fans um, and, and start post, we would start posting these videos and having fun with it and, 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 and they can make some fun videos with it, um, which this is one of them, obviously, um, but they don't like, you know, we just talk and talk and talk how Tesla gets all this free publicity. They don't have to do anything. Uh, and, and people want to li lining up their, you know, to, to get their cars. But here's a fun feature, Hyundai. You are kind of fun. You know, why aren't you, you know, flaunting this? Why aren't you making sure that we're enjoying this feature? Uh, you know, I, 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 that I don't understand. Maybe some of you in the comment section can explain this to me. But my biggest uh, beef with it is, of course, why isn't this feature, which I think is more suitable for an electric car, obviously, because you don't, you don't have to even start it technically to, uh, to, to use this feature. Why isn't it then Hyundai uh, Kona EV? And on top of that, why isn't the Hyundai Kona EV being advertised? I mean, the commercial that you just saw obviously cost a lot of money to make. You got to pay those actors, right? All four of them. And uh, obviously it cost a lot of money to air. Um, obviously they didn't spend that much money because I, this is the first time I saw it and quite a, quite some time for that commercial being out. But nevertheless, why not have it in a, uh, a Kona? And Ionic, let's not forget, they have Ionic, uh, so that, that would be another good candidate to have this feature. I know Ionic is not all fully electric, neither is Kona, there are versions of uh, hybrid and plug-in hybrid, but still. Um, so, you know, and I know they're having problems having the, you know, the supplies. That's what they're telling us, right? The battery supply is the problem. And, okay, but you know, have you ever heard of people taking reservations? Why not create a, a good demand for this car, have people put uh, down some money for this car, and then as you solve these problems, and by the way, I'm sure internally, it's much easier to push this through to your management, whoever you gotta talk to, uh, that you guys gotta figure out where to get the batteries in, in right amounts, if you already have people waiting for this car. This is a really, really good car for the money, electric cars. I would say this is one of the best electric car for money cars on the market. So, Hyundai, come on, please, you already have a great product. You already have a great technology. You have the money. Why aren't you, you know, coming to, stepping into the future? Again, if you have uh, an answer to that uh, before I have to see my therapist, please put it in the description of this video. I would like to know. Uh, by the way, if you want to follow me uh, around this country and sometimes around the world when I go and cover these events in person, uh, the behind the scenes videos and pictures are all on my Instagram page and stories. Uh, you can follow me uh, under E4Electric. And of course, if you're watching me on YouTube, uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And if you already have, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, guys. Oh, looking forward to your therapy in the comment section. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.